Jean-Michel Basquiat was a street artist who gained fame in the 1980s. His imaginative mix of high art with black history, jazz, and hip hop launched him to celebrity status. Recently, this painting of his sold for $85 million. His mother was Puerto Rican and his father was Haitian. He started drawing at a young age and had ambitions of becoming a cartoonist. His father would play jazz records at home while Jean-Michel created art on the floor. His mother frequently took him to theaters and museums. He was a junior member of the Brooklyn Museum. These parts of his childhood had a major impact on his art making as an adult. Basquiat left home at age 17 and sold self-made postcards and t-shirts to support himself. His first recognized work was a graffiti series created with his friend, tagged with the name Samo. He quickly rose to fame in the art world once he started appearing in art exhibitions. His first painting sold for $25,000 in 1981. He appeared on the cover of the New York Times Magazine in 1985. Basquiat used social commentary in his artworks as a tool for introspection and for identifying with his experiences in the black community, attacks on power structures and systems of racism. In 2017, Basquiat's 1982 untitled painting sold for $110.5 million, a record high for any American painter, making him the most successful African-American painter in history. Today, during this workshop, we will create a self-portrait in the style of Basquiat we will incorporate some of the recurring motifs and symbolism in his work. Crowns are probably the most recognizable symbol that Basquiat used in his art. The crowns represented power, strength, and respect. His work was often political and expressive, with a strong point of view and message. Letters, words, and phrases often appear in his pieces. He went beyond the traditional canvas and used found materials for creating art, such as doors, wood panels, and refrigerators. He also used a combination of paint, oil pastels, and collage. During our workshop today, we will combine some of these techniques to create our self-portraits.